A very good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, men and women. Okay, that's the mostly the same thing. Every place where you're tuned on to these episodes uh, on the Life of Signatures Radio, I don't take it for granted that you've chosen to join and to listen to this. I'm excited that two of you, three of you, four of you, five of you, fifteen of you this day or even much more are listening to this. And I'm doing this so that I am just filled with this passion to equip people on the subjects of purpose, productivity, and resilience. And believe me, I have tried to stop podcasting. But I just can't. I just, it doesn't, I just can't. I just can't stop podcasting. I just can't stop doing this. So, Thank you so much for tuning in and listening in. If this thing is making any sense to you, please share it with as many people as you can so that we can continue to cross-pollinate one another. We are in the middle of a series where we're talking about street smartness. Actually, we started yesterday talking about how to raise street smart children. We have not given you the points yet. We're still deliberating. Let us see how today is going to go. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. In the podcast yesterday, in the episode yesterday, we, what did we say? We, we talked about if you were to grapple with the choice between, now I'm talking to parents, okay, between your child being privileged, and privileged here means that they have everything that they need. They don't need to struggle. Their school fees is paid. They are dropped to school. They are born with a silver platter. They are raised with kid, kid gloves. On one end, if your child, if you are to choose between your child being privileged or your child being street smart, uh huh, what are you gonna choose? I told you, without battling an eyelid, without even thinking, I will choose for them to be street smart because I said some level of privilege that we give our children. It makes them important, disempowers them, doesn't build their personal power, makes them dependent, doesn't make them to mature at the end of the day. But if you flip the coin and you make them street smart, and making them street smart doesn't mean that you're always punishing them, you're giving them a tough life and so on. It means you're basically leading them to be responsible. You're leading them to be people who can see this world from the angle of what that this world need and what do I have, what can I offer this world in exchange for value. That is what smartness is. It is to teach them to understand, to take care of themselves at an early age, to, 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 to interact with this, to learn to interact with this world, to learn the seasons and the systems of this world, how this world is operating. And if you're a Christian, please don't use the word this world against me. I'm not talking about uh, the, 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 the kingdom of darkness. I am talking about the empirical world in which we live. Jesus Christ said, you are not of this world. You are in this world so my point is when you are in this world what happens you're supposed to understand the ins and outs of this world that you are in so that you can excel in it so that you can be a person who is excellent in it so privilege on one end or street smartness on the other what are you going to choose a child 
who has known what pangs of hunger are has a different kind of mentality different kind of outlook of life and different kind of hunger for success probably as compared to a child who has never gone a day without a meal three meals three square meals with uh, other uh, you know what do they call them snacks in between guys in west africa or uh, south africa they call them snakes snakes you want a snake no i'm sorry i don't want a snake oh how about a snack yeah that one we can <laughs> But you see, when I say that, when I say that a child who has known the pangs of hunger has a different hunger for success than a child who has known privilege, it's not to say that to be street smart you need to be hungry and you need to suffer. Not necessarily. There are elements of lack of privilege, elements of just scrapping by that push people to pursue much more, you know, being constricted. It pushes people to want to get out of that discomfort which might somehow relate to people choosing to be street smart and privilege unfortunately has less motivation towards that area of being street smart because you have I don't know if I'm communicating Although these things can create a level of resilience in a child, things like poverty, hunger, and so on, they are not necessarily the SI unit of street smartness. If they were, then the most street smart people that we ever saw in this world would be people who are coming from uh, disempowered and underprivileged backgrounds, poor people. Poor regions would be the most street smart regions in this world, but they are not. You see, if we think that you know, life is going to teach people a lesson. Life is going to teach my, my child a lesson. It is not life to teach, your, to teach your child to be street smart. It is your responsibility as a parent. You're not supposed to... Le- street smartness does not come on autopilot. It should not... Okay, let me say it. Uh, let me rephrase it. Street smartness should not come on autopilot. Sometimes it visits people because there's basically... Uh, so Hale is normally say as he funzo na mama eh, or funzo na ole mwengu. Who doesn't get taught by the mama gets taught by the world. That's not the way it's supposed to go. It's supposed to be taught, and that's why we're going to be looking at the eight ways in which you can start teaching these kids to be street smart. But let me emphasize this point: hardship does not necessarily create a street smart child. Not necessarily. If anything. It has some power to kill the dream that a child has, especially if it's hardship that is sustained very long. Hardship causes a child at 13 to get married to an 80-year-old person who is dying. And then when the person dies, she's inherited by another old person. That is hardship. doesn't make this woman, this child to be street smart at all. I can go on and on and on and on and on and on. Okay? Let me just emphasize that. If anything, this hardship, some some point, it kills people. Kills their dream. Kills their potential. And that's why some children with great potential, very great potential, they are living in hardship. They have failed while others have not so much great potential, but they are living in privilege and they have succeeded. I have seen this over and over again. That's why I can tell you without battling an eyelid, this world is unfair. Deal with it. It is. After seeing all that stuff, I will still want my child to be street smart and not to be just privileged. To be street smart means that the child has this working knowledge. I told, told you about this. Working knowledge of how the world works, how the world operates. And has a level of hunger 
hunger personal hunger to make something of themselves to become the best versions of themselves and to see this world from the angle of what value what can i offer this world what value can i add what mountain can i own in this world it's not about ownership of a mountain really it's about dominating with your power influencing impacting and contributing and giving value to this world that's what street smartness is all about and to be street smart is to be quick on your feet to connect the dots of value addition and to know where the winds are blowing where things are changing and to anticipate stuff before they even start to be a problem solver have a great degree of emotional intelligence and people skills and and so on and so forth things have changed ladies and gentlemen things have changed can a privileged child have these qualities that i've just talked about of course thousand times yes a million times yes the only problem will be when we think that the privilege is the golden ticket for this child to make it in this life that's where we go wrong so tomorrow we start talking about exactly how we can raise street smart children and i have points galore my friends and i don't know this is going to be one of the longest series we've ever done we've already done seven episodes we have just started scratching the surface maybe we should do a book anyway stay tuned Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh clean and inspiring.